Hello Ryerson University, it's uh, Steve Katsikaris. I'm a student at Ryerson that uh, found out about wrongdoing in government. Um, I'm just putting up this uh, video here today because I want to go over something that I found out in the Freedom Information about the uh, York Regional Police trying to murder me. And now I found out when after I saw Dr. Hogarth on uh, November 18th, 2015, I was released. I didn't threaten anybody. But now I'm finding some maliciousness from Dr. Hogarth herself in an email that uh, she was communicating with a faraway police force that's not in Toronto, York Region is in Newmarket, and she's working with Homicide to figure out to kill me. And um, I don't have all the stuff here, but I can prove that she's communicating with Homicide and eight months later at my parents' cottage on July 28, 2016, at uh, 5 p.m. I was assaulted with a SWAT team and they uh, use explosives to blow down the door here. So this is definitely a conspiracy to commit murder and I want to let people know how unethical she is and now that I found out about this she wasn't a doctor that made a mistake she's a doctor that's supporting police state medicine. So here it is here I'm just gonna show everybody what I got here. I'm gonna uh, magnify this but I remember I was talking about Jim Kilby so Jim Kilby's the homicide detective that signed the warrant illegally in my house on July, or sorry, on November 27, 2015, and came in with those guys with the black dinner jackets on. So there is Jim Kilby, badge number 641, homicide detective, York Regional Police, and there is an email that I got from Freedom Information, and look who we got here. Brooke Hogarth, look at the date. Remember, I was arrested in her office on November 18th, and to this day there was never a charge filed against me, and you can see here, three weeks later, talking with Ki Jim Kilby from Homicide, who's not a Toronto cop, and uh, I got assaulted at my parents' cottage. And in uh, this thing here about a link, I don't know, I looked this up. So I looked up this link about something here, and I can't find it anywhere here. So I'm just making a note of it, and there she is there, uh, Brooke, Dr. Alexandria Brooke Har Hogarth, of uh, the Ryerson Medical Center. So students beware, do not trust this doctor, she's unethical and um, I just got this now. I can't believe that she was working with homicide to kill her own patient. So you know, so she just didn't get called to court to play a show trial. She is showing um, communication with police that I, ha that I was not able to get and her testimony on video with York Regional Police Homicide has been kept from me and it wasn't even played for trial. And we can thank John Flaherty, the assistant of the Attorney General of Ontario, who took over the case after Five Crowns wouldn't play ball. So this is going right to the top of the Attorney General of Ontario, the York Regional Police, the Durham Regional Police, the RCMP, all trying to kill a student activist because I found out about E. coli bacteria in our drinking water here in the city of Kawartha Lakes and we got another illegal sewage system here with a pipe running down the side. Totally in violation of 358 of the Environmental Act. You can't do it. And there was never an engineer on site. This was just some guy that did the other stuff up here, a contractor by the name of Roger Goslin. So you need to have an engineer on site. We can't even get the property records or the appeal records or who certified this sewage system. But you can see I know about criminal conspiracy and after Edward Snowden and uh, Private Manning and us whistleblowers that are sticking our heads out for the community, being attacked by police over and over again, and seeing doctors like Dr. Hogarth who are being totally unethical and um, unbelievable. So I'm just putting this up right now. So I just can't believe this. And I got to go to court again for another trumped up charge with the government using Sicilian Mafia to come and follow us around from Norland to Whitby and say uh, all these horrible things about us and we can prove now that the arrest warrant isn't even legal they can't give us a date or time and I gotta go to trial again so Dr. Hogarth and Ryerson University by being quiet about this has made my life a living hell and now my marriage is also destroyed with Dr. Uh, Deborah Inger Fells and she's also a professor at Ryerson and now my ex-wife so my whole family's been affected by this. My relationship's been destroyed about this. And this is a total conspiracy to commit murder. And you, the students at the school, need to know what the heck is going on. So I just found this out now. I just can't believe it. So um, I'm putting this up on YouTube. I'm going to title it Ryerson University. And hopefully people with good moral and ethics will say this is wrong. 
and also um, there's other people at Ryerson too that I'll mention later I found some more stuff out but that'll be for my next video but definitely a total criminal conspiracy all right all right I wish I had better news take care everybody and uh, hey play safe and keep studying so long